हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस सीरीज वेयर वी आर लर्निंग इंटीग्रेशन राइट फ्रॉम बेसिक्स द प्लेलिस्ट यू कैन फाइंड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन द प्लेलिस्ट नेम इज इंटीग्रेशन 2023 सो वन मोर क्वेश्चन इन दैट सीरीज वी हैव दिस सो यू कैन सी यू हैव आउटसाइड आल्सो अ लीनियर एक्सप्रेशन एंड इनसाइड द रूट आल्सो देयर इज अ लीनियर एक्सप्रेशन so i have two method to solve this problem you can choose any of them so the method one in the both method our focus will be to write the outer linear expression similar to the inner linear expression that means 7x minus 2 i will li like to modify to 3x plus 2 let's see how so i have 7x minus 2 and i want to make it like 3x plus 2 so if i if i want to do so first i will have to uh if i have to uh, make this 7x minus 2 similar to this so i will have to remove this 3 for removing this 3 divide by 3 just focus on coefficient of x only currently and in order to introduce 7 just multiply by 7 so when you divide by 3 coefficient of x become 1 and when you multiply by 7 it became 7x but in this process you get an extra 14 by 3 but what you want you want minus 2 so 14 by 3 what should be added to that so that you get minus 2 it's simple so this is minus 6 minus 14 by 3 which is minus 20 by 3 so you extra add here minus 20 by 3 okay so this is what we did manually manually means just by thinking just by making some adjustment the same thing we can do with the lambda mu method also how we'll show it later but uh, first uh, integrate it okay so now as you can see we have written 7x minus 2 like this so 7 by 3 3x plus 2 minus 20 by 3 and this is being multiplied by this under root 3x plus now the first term will be multiplied by under root 3x plus 2 and minus 20 by 3 will be multiplied by under root 3x plus 2 let's write them separately so first you will have 7 by 3 i can take out integral of 3x plus 2 here power is 1 here power is half so when you will multiply them you will get 3x plus 2 power 1 from here and power 1 by 2 from here dx minus 20 by 3 integral of 3x plus 2 power half so this is 3x plus 2 power 3 by 2 we can integrate it we know how to integrate this is similar to uh, integrating x power 3 by 2 so for some time think that this is x inside bracket so this will be 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is 5 by 2 and same power will be pasted in denominator 
Now, because coefficient of x is not 1 in this case, it is 3. So, you will have to divide by that coefficient extra. So, divide by 3. Or if you are thinking why divide by the coefficient, you divide basically by the derivative of whatever is inside the bracket. So, inside bracket we have 3x plus 2. So, if you differentiate with respect to x, you will get 3 only. So, just for the simplification, just divide by the coefficient of x. Integration done for the first part. Coming to the second part, minus 20 by 3. And here you will have 3x plus 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 will give you 3 by 2. Divided by 3 by 2. Again, we will have to divide by the coefficient of x. Plus c. Now, you have a divided by b by c sometimes. So, you write, you can write that by as a c by b. So, we will do the same thing here also. So, I have 7 by 3. Okay. Now, this 2 will go up and this 15 will be down. 3x plus 2 power 5 by 2. Fine. Can there be any simplification? No, I think. Okay. Minus 20 by 3. Uh, again, this 2 can go up and this 9 remains down. 3x plus 2 power 3 by 2 plus c. Now, uh, let's write it better way. So, 14 by 45. 3x plus 2 power 5 by 2 minus 40 by 27. 3x plus 2 power 3 by 2 plus a constant c. This is how we uh, did this problem. As easy as you can see. Now, what method 2 I was talking about is we write the outer uh, instead of doing this first step manually, we do this with the help of a technique. So, we write the outer linear expression which is 7x minus 2 as lambda times the inner one. So, the inner one is 3x plus 2. Only whatever is inside root. I am talking about the linear expression, not the root. Plus mu. Now, if you compare 7x minus 2 is 3 lambda x plus 2 lambda plus mu. 2 lambda plus mu is comparable to the constant and 3 lambda x is co comparable to the x term. So, coefficient of x on both sides. In LHS, you have 7. In RHS, you have 3 lambda. So, lambda you are getting as 7 by 3. And what about the other? Constant term is 2 lambda plus mu. Lambda is 7 by 3 plus mu. So, if I uh, go on to find mu that will be minus 2 minus 14 by 3. So, your mu is minus 6 minus 14 by 3 which is minus 20 by 3. Now, if you see this one is your lambda and this one is your mu. You found that by technique you wanted to remove 3. So, divide by 3. You wanted to introduce 7. So, multiply by 7. That was easy. And whatever extra was there, you said, what is extra? T is extra. So, minus, uh, sorry, 14 by 3 plus T equals to minus 2 should be there. So, that we did manually and here you did. So, this is a bit lengthy. 1 to 2 step more. But after that, you have to again integrate the same way you did uh, in the first method. Okay. So, uh, after this, the method remains same. But 
this is also one technique which is uh, very very useful so that's it from my side for more such problem you can always visit my playlist which is integration 2023 thanks again